Young Miami, this is home team, all right? So first of all, I just want to say shout out to uh, Young Miami. Shout out to on their new project. Shout out to JT, um, R-A-W, Raw Ass Whores. That's the name of the album, all right? Nonetheless, Young Miami went on The Breakfast Club. And I don't know how you guys feel, but she sat down with Charlemagne and which she said that she deserves to get those awards that she's been receiving for Best Podcast. Um, oh, let me hold up, man. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, matter of fact. Let me get that record. Let me get that record. That's what I need right there. I need to learn this machine too. Now, this is what I got to say, man. I understand that she feels that there's a, a demand for what she does. All right. According to your Miami, when she does her podcast, the line is around the corner. But because that line is around the corner, does that mean that she deserves all the accolades that she's receiving? All right. We're going to dig a little bit deeper. Shout out to Pierre Lat on the mirror. All right. Shout out to P, Peter Billy. Hold on, man. Peter Bully, hold up. I can't even get into this, all right? I got to shout out my dog. Shout out to P. But nonetheless, all right? So now, Young Miami feels like she deserves to get those, those podcast awards. I don't know how you guys feel. You guys tell me. When you see Young Miami, when you see Young Miami, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, Planet. When you see Young Miami, do you guys think that she deserves to get those awards that she's receiving for podcasting? Do you guys find her... Her podcast captivating, all right. Is she that dynamic? Is she that? Uh, is what she is what she brings to the table that important? Is my question. Now, when I'm looking at Young Miami show and I see what she's doing, she's speaking about a lot of uh, uh, relationships, all right, uh, 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 things of that nature, and I don't find her to be that that dynamic, right? I don't find her to be that captivating, but maybe it's just me. Because she said she has a line around the corner for her. What Pia is saying? I never listened to her podcast. Facts, though. I never really listened to her podcast. I only listen to the excerpts when she's speaking about something that, you know, there's certain things that's clickbait, all right? So when you're speaking about relationships and, and, and things that we have in question, I might listen to that. But overall, the overall content, it's not that captivating. So I think we're in agreement, P. Um, I don't know. Like you guys, I want to know you guys' opinion on that. Nonetheless, she says she deserves the awards that she's receiving. All right. And she feels like she doesn't deserve the ridicule that she receives for re receiving these awards. But yo, Miami, when you're getting these rewards, right, in comparison to the competition, to the to the to landscape out here, there's a lot of other people that are doing great, great podcasting. Shout out to Drink Champs. Drink Champs is amazing. All right. And I find it hard to believe that she it, her show is more captivating, more interesting than Drink Champs. Now. Mind you guys, this is my opinion. I still need your opinion. Because the subject matter that she has, it is her subject matter is um it is is it's a there's a demand for that, right? Because we do want to know about these relationships. Even me as a man, sometimes I'd be curious to know about certain things that's going on, right? Because there's a lot of rumors that that need to be dispelled or be confirmed, nonetheless. So I give her credit for that. But I'm still not seeing what people see in, in Young Miami as in the rewards that she's receiving. Now, let me tell you, hold up. Shots fired. Now, there's a reason I said shots fired. Charlemagne alluded to that. Uh, Charlemagne alluded to Young Miami that her boyfriend, so-called boyfriend, I heard that they might be broken up at this point. Who knows? They're always on and off. You know how it is in this day and age. It's very toxic. But they're trying to say that that Diddy's buying those awards from BT. They're saying that the price of an award from BT is very cheap. All right. Now, to Young Miami's defense, she said there's other platforms, there's other awards that she's be, she's been getting beyond BT. So, is it a unanimous thing where other platforms that she's receiving rewards is that does that validate what BT giving her that award? I'm still confused at this point, and a lot of us are confused. But I'm not an expert in the market, right? Because there's different markets for different things. And obviously, there is a demand for what Young Miami does. So I'm a little bit confused. But asking me, in my opinion, I think there's way better podcasts other than hers, right? Uh, definitely, I would go with Drink Champs. I think Nori. Uh, Nori definitely deserves. We can clap it up for Nori. All right, let, let's clap it up for Nori. Facts. All right? We're going to... 
Facts. We don't clap it up for Nori because Nori does deserve that, all right? You guys do me a favor. As soon as you come in the room, make sure you guys are, are sharing this podcast. Do me a favor. Share the podcast. Hit that like button. Don't be a ninja watcher. That's a person that be creeping and watching. Don't be no pocket watcher because that's just a hater. And you definitely want to be one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a peeping time. If y'all know what they do to the peeping times, stay out of jail. You won't have to find out what they do to the peeping times, all right? And we call this wipe your feet on the rug. Just hit the like button. It's a real quick, just hit the wipe, uh, the like button. Same way you do at your grandparents' house. You wipe your feet on the rug because you know you got dirt and mud and bacteria on your feet. So what you do, you wipe your feet on the rug and, and, and you show respect, right? Show respect in the house of the LLTS approved. Uh, utilize your manners and hit that like button for me. And once again, share this. With everybody that's on here, I need you guys to share this. I'm going to be going on more at 7 o'clock. I know I'll be switching up the times that I'll be going on, but we're going to be way more consistent with the, the time that I go on. All right? Now, like I said, Young Miami's receiving these awards, and, and there's a lot of skepticism behind her receiving these awards, and they even alluded to P. Diddy buying that award for Young Miami. Shout out to Tosh in the building. Big up to sis. I see you, sis. That part. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, so shout out to, to Young Miami uh, nonetheless, because for Young Miami to even be considered for an award, you have to give a credit, some type of credit for that. So I do give Young, young Miami some type of credit. Now, we're not going to stay too long on this. Just moving right along. Um. Hold up, man. We got to talk about Jada Pickett, this whole Jada Pickett and 